where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Good day, YouTubers. Once again, I am back with this big old mound of stuff here. And mainly today, I come back to retrieve some items I previously left here, as I often <laughs> have a habit of doing. Because I set stuff all over the place and then I end up forgetting half of it. So I'm back today to pick up some of that. And I'm going to do a little more digging around. As you can see, there's still lots to dig over that way. A little bit in here, I see a big mound there that I haven't gone through. So, anyways, let's get at it. There's a lot of nice stuff coming out of here. Real interesting stuff, unique stuff, vintage stuff, and some stuff a little bit older. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. A few moments later. Well, I pretty much just picked this one up off the surface, folks. And this is in uh, really good condition, so I think I'll take that. Four star, must be oil. There you go, you can even read the back of it there. Yeah, I think that'll clean up real good. Yeah, that's some really good condition actually. Well folks, I wasn't scratching along here and uh, look what just turned up. The first marble of the day, that is a beauty too. Yeah, check it out. Real nice. Wow. Yeah. Nice one. Okay. That was right here. Let's do a little more scratching right there. Just to see. Kind of odd that one marble sitting there. Okay, well... I'm not going to bore you with that. I don't see anything else right away, but I'll get you back up if anything turns up. There we go. What's left to a little wristwatch? Ladies' wristwatch, I say. What? Well, stopped working at 4 o'clock. Okay, viewers, I'll get you up there for a minute while I scratch around in here, just in case something interesting comes out. Toiletry bottle. No marks on the base, but uh, geez, shame that's all chipped up. There's a couple chips out of it right there. That would have been a beauty. I'll just set that aside for now. Here's another one here. Look. Oh, that one's broke. Just dig real easy here. Oh, there's another little broken one. There is just a ton of weird stuff in here. Look. lighter let me get you up here for a second flip you around look in there what's this oh no it's broke i think that says made in germany Wow, that's a shame. That's busted. Look, I think there's there's part piece of it there. There's another plate. That's like that one I pulled out here one other time. Uh, broken milk. Okay, I'll get you back up in a minute. Okay, I got to find folks right down here Check it out
London Toy Beverage Truck. Made in Canada, number 15. Woo! Right on. Nice. <laughs> Just missing the wheels. Cool. Yeah, how could you beat that? It was pretty fun stuff, folks. Pretty fun. Get out and dig. Okay, I got another find in the hole, folks. Another find in the hole. No, not this. But I'm going to pull this anyway, just to get it out of the way. Right here. Oh, there's a couple things there. Oh, it's broke. Frig. Nice little teapot. Milk glass. Well, oh, there's another piece to that right there. It's got like a sheen to it. Oh, that's too bad. That's broke. Alright, I'll get you up on the next one. Okay, viewers, hope you're enjoying the video so far. I just want to do a quick clip here and show you this teapot. I got 99.9% .9 of the pieces to it, and I got them glued back together. I don't normally keep broken stuff like that, but sometimes I do just uh, for the fun of putting it back together to see what it looks like. So there it is. It turns out pretty good. The glue is still setting up, so I'm just going to handle it real gently. Lusterware teapot made in Czechoslovakia. Check it out. There you go. I say not sure of the age on it. 1930s, maybe 1940s, maybe it's 1950s. I don't know. It looks old, anyways. So there it is in all its splendor. Well, I haven't moved too far, folks. I'm still right here. I think I might have all the pieces to that teapot. I might take that and try to glue it back together just to get a look at it. I got a find right here. It's a little tin. Not sure what it says. Soap. Nothing in it, but that was a neat little find. A little relic. Okay, folks. I just scraped out a daymaker. Right down here. <laughs> Uranium glass shaker with the top still on it. Guaranteed that's going to glow under a black light guaranteed i'll try it out i'll take it home and uh, i'll get you back up asap if it glows let me do a quick scratch right here since i got you up there's other stuff right here oh, there's a piece of pottery oh there's a little spoon there a little plastic spoon The roots are wicked here. Lots of roots. Wow, look at that weird jar. Max Factor. I've never seen a cream jar shaped like that before. I'm going to keep that. That is very cool. Still got some cream in it. Nice, nice jar. Look the 50s. Real heavy, too. That is some thick glass. Look how thick it is. Wow, nice. Okay, folks, so here's the moment of truth. Check it out. This is the uranium glass shaker. You know what the best part about this is, folks? Last year, 
I think it was last year. I dug this one here. And look, they're identical. Only this one's got a dark top on it, and this one's got a light top on it. Almost make you think of salt and pepper. Very cool. All right, so, moment of truth. Let's turn off the uh, light here. The black light. And there we go. Those puppies are no that one. Beauties. Glowers. Well, the finds are just coming out here in leaps and bounds, folks. Look at this. Got this little pottery saucer. Undamaged. I got this Heinz 57 mustard spoon. I've got a few of these so far. I always take those. There's Buckley's there. Edge embossed. There's something here. What's that? What? It's a shell, and it hasn't been shot either. slow going here the past 20 minutes or so folks but this come out nice ACL Fanta bottle looks like it's gonna clean up all right that's some solid ACL on that by the looks of it real heavy bottle I don't see a date on it I'm gonna guess it's from the late 50s or maybe even early 60s Fanta well, that sun's nice when it comes out. I was going to wait to show this, but uh, there that is. Wall's got was an old vintage tape measure. I'll show it now because that's the second one I pulled out here today. Look. One with a red label and one with a green label. Well, folks, what kept me coming back to this place was that Indian head brake fluid can and I never did find another one so still searching for one of those but I got something else right here I see in here this may be the last pull of the day so let's pull this out oh cool it's a nice little toiletry bottle yeah be very good yeah so like I say that's probably going to be it for today, folks. I think I got enough footage to put a video together. and Got a bag full of finds here. Probably a few in there that I didn't show you, but uh, maybe we'll see them on a little bit of a cleanup or something. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Please comment down below, folks. I enjoy reading your comments and uh, getting your input on uh, whatever you want to <laughs> put in on. <laughs> identifying uh, items and stuff like that so yeah it's always a, always a good time where are we headed to driver no man's land <laughs> oh okay they're going then <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight what do you say jane yeah we got a damn good 